Welcome to the George Thomas Clark Podcast. I just have a short uh, commentary today about the coronavirus. I've been trying to uh, uh, understand the conservative point of view here. I realize probably half of our listeners are, are conservatives, and I'm just trying but failing to understand their, their talking points. Uh, they seem to object uh, quite vigorously about the uh, vigorous measures to shut down the coronavirus, the social isolation, the um, staying home from work, things like that. Uh, number one, I hear people say that uh, people aren't dying of the coronavirus, they're dying with the coronavirus. Um, when you look at the numbers of who are dying, I, I, I think it's specious to say they're dying with the virus, strictly because they're old. Yes, many people are old and have uh, pre-existing conditions, but the number of additional people who are dying is unmistakable. The second point one often hears is that the cure is worse than the disease, meaning that the um, economic damage is worse than the disease. The economic damage is real, but we can and will uh, respond very vigorously and recover from the uh, economic damage. One cannot recover from death. Um, the third point is uh, a number of uh, clever individuals are stating that the models and fatality projections are much too severe. I'd like to ask them, what would it take to constitute something that is severe? And the fourth point is, um, it's often said, oh, it's only the flu. Haven't you heard that? It's only the flu or something like the flu. It's uh, quite a bit more severe than that. We could take a look uh, today, just right now. They've updated on worldometers.info the latest fatality figures. Um, 94,700 have died worldwide. Um, 18,000 of those in Italy, 15,000 in Spain. Today, or yesterday, 1,458 died in the United States. Um, and we have more than 16,000 deaths. And uh, it's going to go a lot higher in all these countries. Now, just recently, in Italy and Spain, the rate of uh, deaths has declined a little bit, and it will do that here. Our social distancing is working. Our, our staying home from work is working. Our not going to concerts and movies and athletic events, all of that is working. But this is a great deal more than the flu, and I'm just concerned about the continued drumbeat on the right to make this sound like it's some sort of... Uh, what, a liberal plot, something uh, to underline President Tr undermine President Trump? It's nothing of the sort. It's a pandemic. And if these prudent steps, prudent and severe steps were not being taken, we would be looking at uh, a million or two deaths in the United States, probably, and, and millions worldwide. So keep up the good work. And don't listen to those who continually try to say that this isn't severe. If it isn't severe, why are more and more people dying in the United States and worldwide every day?